Welcome back to Psychology of Addiction. Now, I'm curious about the prospects of relapse as well. How does that play into the recovery process? So the way that I think of, of relapse is one of two things. Either your diagnosis sucked and you need to change it, um, or the plan sucked. So let me kind of give you an example. I went ahead and was a uh, cigarette smoker for years, and I quit, and I felt really good, and I was really solid on it, and it was about six to eight months into it. And I went over to uh, Park Central, which is near where I was born, and there was a, uh, a shoe shine place, and I was bringing my boots to get shined. I was going to drop them off and leave. And the guy said, you know, I've got time to do this, everything and will be okay. And so I sat down in this big leather chair, and it had two big arms. And something felt familiar about it, but I wasn't really thinking consciously about it. Mm -hmm. And there was an ashtray in the middle of it. And I got my boots, and I immediately went to the Circle K and bought a pack of cigarettes and had one, and then thought, my dad and I used to go to the Adams Hotel to get haircuts, and they had those chairs, and everyone would smoke. Huh. So the back part of my brain went ahead and hit that, mm -hmm. and I went ahead and smoked. I, I put it away once I realized, but that there was no way to plan for that. It, it was a deep memory that, um, that you know, with operant classical conditioning, it was tagged and I needed it uh, at that time. And I think a lot of times that's what happens. Now, if I would have known it consciously before I, I did it, I could have done a series of emotional freedom technique tapping and that would have collapsed that memory and trauma. And so I would have been in good shape. So part of, I think, every relapse uh, plan should have uh, training in emotional freedom technique because it is the quickest and easiest self-technique to drop desire for any kind of appetite. All it's doing is hitting every meridian you have on your body, and that throws you into balance. And so you calm down, and you aren't thinking of any desire. So if I... I'm hungry, uh, and I do that tapping, I'm not hungry anymore. Well, that's all for now, but uh, join us next time, and we'll be delving into more information. 